Dave Palumbo with Chris the Technician Decido. We are here at the 2016 Mr. Olympia contest that just let out. And Phil Heath is now a six-time champion, tying the Dorian Yates uh, mark of six. Still behind Arnold, who has seven, and, and uh, Ronnie Coleman and Lee Haney with eight. But uh, Iris I think Kyle with ten, even right, though she well, didn't compete last we're, week. We're talking about the men, but yeah. let's let's give it to Phil. This year, he came back way better than we've seen him in, in the past two yes, years. Yes, he was Mr. Friday Night uh, this year. Right. You know, Phil has gone on the record to to you know to say that he's come back, which he has two years in a row. He calls himself Mr. Saturday Night, which, which is not necessarily a, a not compliment a thing to be. No. But in his own mind, and you know, I guess rightfully so, or if that makes sense to him, if you can come back and, and be the champion on Saturday night, you should walk away with the title. Hint. Right. Hint. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I felt that he was as good tonight as he was last yeah, night. I, did I, I don't know if you agree I did with too, that. yes. And no, I, I think he too. I think tonight he kinda sealed the deal because with the lead he had going from last night, I don't I don't think anyone really could could touch him tonight. However, uh, I was a little disappointed with Sean Roden in second place. I thought Sean, I, from what I heard and from what you and I heard, it was close after prejudging. Yeah. And that Sean had an opportunity tonight to come back and, and possibly win that title. And I, and I felt like he didn't come back better. What would, you obviously work with him. What was your impression of him last night versus tonight? You know, with the, with the physique that, that, like, you know, dynamic, that fine-tuned, that small of a waist, you know, he's really not technically a big guy. It's hard to fine tune him because you just, you know, it, 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 it just, you know, he's got to be peaked perfectly to, to maximize, you know, his look to look big enough to win the show. So, you know, I, I think he was, you know, essentially more or less the same both nights. And, you know, it, it just, you know, it, it really boiled down to him too. I, I thought last night, Phil put the show away like he does every year on his most muscular. He does it every year, and you know, actually this year he had the side chest going too, which he put a lot of people away on. I'm going to make a I'm going to make a controversial statement now. I know we have like everyone and their mother watching us here. I don't think that Phil necessarily won that many poses. I felt that Big Rami won a lot of poses, front lat spread, front uh, back uh, back lat spread, maybe most muscular. In, in pre judging. I, I, well, both oh, days. No, no. Tonight, and, Remy, and, 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 Remy dusted Phil tonight. And, wait, hold I mean, on. Let me just get through this. So I had Remy winning at least three poses, and then I had Roden winning, you know, uh, a couple poses, maybe front double, uh, yeah. ab thigh. And so if you do pose by pose, which is not how you score the yeah. show, Phil didn't win that many poses. But I think enough guys canceled each other out that Phil overall, look wise, just stole, won the show. Look, well, it, it's you know, isn't that it, weird though that he doesn't win all the poses and he wins the show? We stood here last year and it was the same thing with Wolf in there and Dexter in there and Roden in there and you know we weren't sure you know it was like it wasn't apples and oranges but we made the same argument that other individuals, different people had different attributes that they brought to the show that made right. them potentially a winner or having a, and that's why the show seemed so damn close last year. I think this year with the pre-judging, I would agree with you, different people won different shots in pre-judging. You know, I just came back to Phil, unfortunately, you know, and I want him to lose, obviously, I got two people in the, in the, in the show, is, you know, his, his most muscular is extremely impressive. And even though he seems a little bit more vulnerable when he's compared to people, when he first comes out, that first impression always is like, no, the problem, the problem is that... And that the, lasts the, through prejudging a lot of times. The problem is that even when Roden wins poses, then in the other poses he doesn't look good, you have to say, well, it feels better. And then, and then when another guy, when Big Rami wins poses, you look at Rami in other poses and he's like, well, Phil demolishes him in those poses. So Phil beats every person individually more so than they do himself, but he loses maybe, he does, he's not the best at anything. And, and, I, and that's the thing about Mr. Olympia, you don't have to be the best at, at, at anything. You just have to be the best overall. Well, I and that's what I think, enough. that's why I think Phil Heath is Mr. Olympia six times, because let's face it, you yeah. don't win six Olympias on luck. No, well, you win six Olympias because you got something that other people don't have. Consistency, uh, the ability to come back, that killer instinct, the mindset we talk about so much. And I, says he trains at high altitude. Even he said it. it, 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 it Asphyxia training. Asphyxia training. Well, I mean, this is, you know, Phil, Phil Heath is an unbelievable bodybuilder, but this is why it's, you know, people, you know, have criticisms of him. It's it's not like coming out of a show when, you know, when, let's say, Jay Dorian or Yates won, and they won, like, virtually everything. You know, they were just right. a, so, but you know, it, it just goes to show you, you could be the best overall. Absolutely. And Absolutely. not be the best at anything individually and still be a great champion. And, and Phil is just balanced. And that's what it really comes down to. All right, he doesn't have the smallest waist, but he seems to be able to 
beat everyone, even if it's by a margin, a small margin, and six times in a row is no joke. And you know what the truth is? Who's going to beat him in the next two years? Or the next three years? I mean, I mean. Well, I thought Romney beat him tonight, but I mean, that, that wasn't so let's even talk, 20 let's talk, minutes let, ago. Before we talk about Romney, let's talk about Dexter Jackson, who obviously was, was evidently very visibly upset yeah. with the second place, uh, with the third place finish tonight. Um, I'm sure he thought he should have won, you know, as all the body was yeah. But well. he definitely won it second because he was second last year. But you and I said this last year. Dexter finished second last year by default. In other words, guys just didn't pull through what they wanted, although they didn't look the I way they should have. Yeah, in and I think that, so. I think that in his mind, he convinced himself that he was the second best body. But on that night, he was. But obviously, tonight he was third. Um, looked off yesterday, better tonight. Yeah, he was better tonight. And he was better tonight. Uh, I just don't think it was enough to to overcome Sean Rogan. No, no he he was better tonight. Um, I just thought yesterday. He, his torso looked long because his waist was a little bit wide. Well, it was a little bloated in the little, lab. A little, little bloated, um, and you know he didn't have the crisp detail in the in the frontal quads. He was pretty pretty tight from behind, and then he's going up against you know, you know, I mean Roden is a bigger guy, taller and wider than him, and you know of course Phil has got the elephant shoulders and arms. Yeah. So you know Phil's not the widest guy, but when you know with the crazy shoulders and arms. The, the, you when know, he, he looks with his wide. hands on his hips, he those looks shoulders. Wide. Yeah, they look wide, insanely yeah. wide. So, and that's what you know. Getting back to Phil because it's an important point. The the criticism the last two years is why he has not come out of prejudge and like, oh, I think he's going to win is because he's he's come in with deflated shoulders and arms, right. which which shows his narrowness, especially with like, yeah. you know, someone like a wolf in the lineup. So here in the prejudge, when his delts are you know blown up, yeah. and his. Uh, biceps, uh, you know, and triceps have blown up, you don't notice at all the, the narrowness. Let me ask you this question. I know a lot of people out there are probably wondering the same thing. Before we get to Rami in fourth place, if Kai Green was in this contest... He would not win. No. What place would he have finished? Um, Second again? I, I think at this point, you know... Uh, no, I don't think he'd be second place at, at this show. I, I think, I think, same thing on points. You know, he's getting to the point where he looks more like an H than a V. I think, no, I mean, I think Roden would beat him on a lot of poses. Rami would certainly beat him on a lot of poses. Rami next to him would, would you know, big versus big would make him look not quite so big. And Phil would still come out on top. It goes right back to our formula for, you know, Phil may not be dominant, but he's the best guy so up there. I think that the point we made, and you made this point once before, one on one, Roden Heath. Maybe Roden wins, but Heath against all those other guys deflecting each other off it's is the best. Point. It's it's the it's best combination point. of Heath. Absolutely, he wins better when he has more people there that are competitive with him. Yes, absolutely, I agree with you 100. percent They cancel each other out almost. Uh, yeah, I, I agree 100. percent Though this year, you know, with like I said, I keep going back to the you know the the, the shoulders and arms. You know, Phil did enough there where I think. You know, one-on-one, -on -one, he'd come out uh, first against the whole lineup. Except Big Rami, Except because Big let's Rami. talk about Big Rami, fourth place. Obviously, this guy keeps moving up, moving up. You worked with him this year with the best look we've seen from Rami. He obviously can get in shape. He can't be 315 pounds on stage when he's in shape, but 285 around yeah. there is is a good Rami. Um, I felt that um, a lot of people thought he didn't look as good because they're used to seeing this overinflated cartoon character, and that's just not a good Olympia. You know, when I was 300 pounds back in the day, I hate to bring myself into it, I, everyone said, you should compete like that, you look great. But it wasn't a good stage look, and 315 is not a good stage look for Rami. This was a good stage look for Rami. Why didn't Rami win this contest today? Uh, because they wanted Phil to. No, but tell me, what? <laughs> give, me, give me a reason structurally why he didn't win. Uh, he didn't win the prejudging because he didn't get the. Look, here's the bottom line. Rami was flat in prejudging, and he brought a level of detail that he's never had before. So that there's the you know people want to see him huge with that detail. You know, I started out with Phil argues that he should win these shows because he's Mr. Saturday Night. Well. Uh, you know, Rami just showed you that he's missed a Saturday morning, afternoon, and night. In other words, I guarantee you, I mean, I think so. You ask, you can, you, you tell me, a one-on-one -on -one comparison with Phil and Rami tonight, at a very minimum, the roof would have come off the Orleans. Yeah, well, uh, Rami and, was super and, excited and, when and, they called him out and then put him in the middle tonight. And I, I think the audience would have been on Rami's side, <laughs> and he was, he was dominant in terms of front lat spread, back lat spread, places where you can't make Phil Heath look narrow when he's got giant shoulders. Sean can't. Uh, Dexter can't. You can make a, a case for the most muscular, too. When when Rami's when Rami's five pounds bigger, like he is tonight, than, than yesterday, 
you know, it looks like, you know, 15 pounds and he can make Phil look, which he actually really is, narrow. And that's how, that's how the, that's how it played out. And that's why the judges had Rami in the middle for the entire night show. Um, and you could see Phil getting ready to pass out. If, if they had called, if they had called Phil versus Rami the last call out, and I guarantee Phil's going to see this and deny it, he would have, he would have. I don't know what he would have done. I can't finish the sentence. I, you know, I think Rami's, you know, a lot of people want to know. It's, it's more dangerous than Akai versus well, he's bigger, Phil. Yeah. Well, and, 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 and Phil can obviously get into Kai's head. There's right. no get into, into Remy's head, as well, you he saw. He, he, can't, he doesn't understand That's English. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, the thing I want to say about Rami is that, you know, people don't realize that he's only been, you know, competing for a couple years here. Um, he still has immature muscle. Yes, he does. We know he can get in shape now, which everyone can get in shape. It just was a matter of finding the right formula. So you're obviously a, a good fit for him. And I think that Rami, over the next two years, is going to develop into a bodybuilder that we can't even fathom. Because I think with five or ten pounds more in his physique, a real five or ten pounds yeah. more, he can't be beat. But well, we saw this is five pounds last night versus five pounds. But what about a 295-pound two, Rami in shape? I don't think anyone can beat that. Um, I, I don't even think it's a weight issue. I just think it's, you know, I... I'm talking about I, muscle in the right place. I think you could replay tonight's show and, and you know, uh, at least more than half the people would leave here. Uh, you know, you, you could easily make the argument that Remy won tonight. Right. Let's talk right? about... Is that, is that right? You can pan the crowd. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think the... Any, anyone have Phil winning tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Phil, there's Hanny. Yeah, he raised his hand over there. I'm making fun of Hanny. I thought Phil looked great. Yeah. Um, let's talk about. I the just don't like you, Hanny. I'm <laughs> kidding. I like Hanny. <laughs> let's talk about the but dark. But if he went away and got like hurt yeah. and couldn't help Are we Hanny, sipping if he inside? no, but right. if, if if he couldn't help Phil, I'd be happy. <laughs> you're very energetic tonight. Usually you're falling asleep. Well, it's the Olympia. Yeah. It's only one night out of That's the year. Sure. Let's talk about. I want to talk about the biggest dark horse in that lineup tonight. We always talk about the guy who comes out of nowhere, no one expects. William Bonac. Here's a guy who people were telling to go into the 212, and he actually did a few 212s when he first Arnsworth started. Beat him at one of them. I did think. He, yeah. No, he came in fifth, and 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 Bonac got fourth. And Bonac's like, I'm an open guy, and people yeah. are like, yeah, whatever, right? You, you'll never be top ten, you know. And last year he proved that wrong, and then yeah. this year he finishes in the fifth position, you know, challenging, you know, that top four in some poses. Um, I, personally, I, I felt that, you know, he's too, I feel that he's still too small compared to these other guys, but he's got some very, very impressive poses. His most muscular is really impressive. Those arms, shoulders, uh, and pecs. He, he's, he, you know, he's like a Kai Green, and not because of the hair. He's like Kai Green because he's got that crazy look. He's got real hair. Yeah, I know that. But he yeah. got that from Cedric. Cedric was the one who whispered it to him. Oh, well, Cedric so came up with that witty. It wasn't an original line uh, by Phil. Uh, so Phil it. may be Mr. Olympia, but he's not funny. Cedric it's knows Cedric. hair. Yes. Yeah, he knows hair. Uh, he only, if you go to Cedric's Instagram, he only follows barbers. I'm, he's, he follows oh, really? 200 different barbers. <laughs> he, has, he has no hair in his head. He don't follow me as a bodybuilder. Uh, so, uh, uh, Bonac um, has crazy dense muscle. Um, by himself, he's spectacular. Where he gets beat up a little bit, if you squash him between Raleigh and you put him, be, you know, between taller people, um, you know, you, it detracts a little bit. I think Dexter Jackson should be breathing a, you know, I'm sure Dexter don't want to hear that, but they're uh, both the same height. Well, yeah, but you know that Bonac called out Dexter Jackson at the Prague show a couple of years ago and said, I should be beating you. I, I and, Dexter said, and, Dexter's response, and Dexter's response was, I'm Mr. Olympia. You'll never be Mr. De Olympia. He, Dexter, maybe he's wrong. Dexter said, you ever hear someone named Flex Wheeler, Nasa El Somebody? He, they said, he said I, they go to bed, bro, at night, and I go to bed, and I have a Sandow on my mantle, and those guys don't. So right. you're not in my league. Right. Well, he was, he's, 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 he's a creeping. lot closer. He's yeah, he's a lot closer than he creeping. was before. And, you know, it just goes to show how good he was. He beat a Ruley Winkler. And I have to say, yeah. the crowd favorite was Ruley Winkler. You talk to any lay person who doesn't really know bodybuilding insights, and you ask them who the best guy on stage was, they're going to tell you Ruley Winkler should have won the Olympia. Obviously, we know better. You know, structurally, he was not where yeah. he needed to be. But he is the biggest freak on stage. He might be a bigger freak than Rami right now. Yeah, yeah. He's, um, he's freaky. He's got, you know, if he walked out of the auditorium right now, and Phil walked out and Roden walked out, and they all had tank tops on, We'd all say that's Mr. Olympia of right course, there. Because yeah. The arms are insane. The width is insane. Uh, you know, he's a tremendous bodybuilder. He's improved a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, you know, he's lucky he's over there in Kuwait, you know, eating chicken for free. Um, <laughs> so that helps. Among other things, yeah. Uh, so, um, you know, he, he, what did he finish? Sixth? Sixth. You know, deserving sixth place. When he, when Top he, six Olympian listen, is no joke. When, when Rolly Winkler comes out, 
he's going to light any crowd up because he, he, he's freaky. You know, he's he's just, he's just freaky when when he comes out and hits a front double. It's as like impressive as when Phil comes out and sets up yeah. his shoulders and arms. You're like, wow, that's a lot Let, of muscle. Let's talk about Kevin Lavroni because everyone, you know, was anticipating. I obviously went on record saying I thought he was going to win. I, it was one of the most, the only uninformed decisions I've ever made in my entire career, Chris, because I'd never seen his legs. But um, look, he was a fan favorite. They let him do his posing routine tonight, which I thought was a terrific move by the Olympia people because these people would have mutinied if they didn't see Kevin Lavroni pose. Yeah. And the question is, and I know I've asked you this before in other wrap ups, will Kevin Lavroni return? Is he done now or is he going to say, you know what, I think I can be better? Um, I, I guess that's a decision for him. I wouldn't, I mean. What do you think? No, because the legs, you, okay, close your eyes, say, like, you know, Roden's legs, Lavroni's legs. Those, yeah. They're not coming back. Right. I mean, I, that's the level. I think he's going to have trouble I, getting those I, legs. I, I, I actually believe with one year of training, his upper body could come back. Full blown. Yeah, it, yeah, it, no, because, no pun. Yeah, yeah, no, because it's, you know. It looks it, close. Yeah, it's close. <laughs> it's close on the side those shots. Side most yeah. most muscles were brutal. Even Cedric wouldn't yeah. stand next to those. <laughs> and, you know, the back is almost yeah. there. It just, you know, you know, it, I mean, it's it's different. You've, you've said it a million times after 40, yeah. your legs go. Yeah, your hard. legs and libido after 40. <laughs> Unless you're on testosterone placement. <laughs> yeah. Which helps legs and libido. Let's talk about 212 because uh, Flex Lewis, super dominant. There's really not much to talk about. He was probably the, you know among the best versions we've seen of him here tonight. He was impeccably conditioned. He was full. Yeah. Full. He he dominated the lineup. I don't think it was even close. Everything was second through fifth after uh, after uh, flex. How many years can this guy win this title? Um, you know, <laughs> five more times. I, I just say it's it's it, it, he'd be very hard to beat. The, you know, the the only one who's really pushed him. There's, he's only been pushed twice, once by Jose, uh, you know, really hard, and, and and once by Eduardo Correa. And, and they're older, these guys now. And, and I'm just going to say that, you know, he still has an advantage where his, his he, you know, he's injury-free. And he's youthful. He's injury-free. Yeah. I mean, you're going to be injury-free when you're youthful, so that's a huge advantage. So to answer the question, how long can he go, you know. As long as he wants. You know. At least for the next five years, I think. Um, you know. People come out of the woodwork, you know. Right. I mean, someone may come up and. Well, let's talk about woodwork. Uh, Ahmad Ashkenani, See? out of the woodwork, first year wins his first pro show, comes yeah. in here, also second an, place. Uh, also anabolic chicken eater. Yeah, Molly's <laughs> Molly's roommate. Yeah, Molly's <laughs> roommate. Um, I thought it was very close between him and Jose. I thought Jose had him at the end of pre-judging. Jose um, had him. But Jose. Um, what, what do you think made the judges push him over the top? Um, Jose didn't look that great tonight, I have to tell you. I thought he looked better. A little flat tonight? Yeah, a little flat tonight. Uh, what what would have, uh, I'm sure, pushed him over the top is uh, he has a, he has a, a dent. The, the strengths, I mean, I don't know what pushed him over the top, but what his strengths are is the density of the upper back, um, the density of the shoulders and arms from the side on the side chest. Right. Um, I he's, he's got I, a dense, rugged look. I feel like he doesn't flow as well yet, he and I think it's because he's a beginner, yeah, and I think he's going to get better. Yeah. He could be very dangerous in a couple of years. Um, I felt that, you know, I know you told me Jose lost 37 pounds in, in seven weeks before the show. Four weeks. Four, uh, four no, weeks no, before no, the show. No, it, was, it, was, uh, seven. it was about eight weeks. Uh, eight weeks. But anyway, that's a lot of weight to lose. Do you think that had an effect on his skin? Because his skin just didn't look as, as crisp as it usually is. Well, it probably, I think it had really... Insanely, you know, not a effect on his skin. It had a probably effect on the ruggedness of the muscle, on which the skin lays over. Right. So, you know, it, he probably would have had more of a blasting full look. Right. You know, had he had come down maybe instead of 37 pounds, like 33 or something in that time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, you know, I, I thought one of the exciting things in the contest tonight was the fact that Arnold Schwarzenegger was here. And of course, they brought The Rock on stage. Yeah. Uh, now the WWE, obviously, uh, uh, you know, persona that The Rock has was just electrifying in this crowd tonight. Yeah. He made a very uh, uh, surprising announcement that next year he is going to, with his production company, bring the Mr. Olympia to CBS Sports. Um, we don't know if it's the cable station or the real CBS, but nonetheless, if The Rock does it, I, I suspect it will be on primetime TV. Um, do you think this is going to happen? Um, it, it's a huge announcement if it is. I, you know, 
I would think you, you don't make announcements unless you have, there's a certain level of certainty behind it. At least that. The Rock doesn't. Yeah, that's right. I mean, people do all the time, but you know, someone like he wouldn't be making an announcement unless the contract's already signed and done. Right. So I think that's fantastic for the no, sport. I, I, it's fantastic. I see Robin Chang right over there. I'm going to go ask him for press passes for next year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 364 yeah. days early. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> We've got to book our hotel room now. Yeah. But I, I think, once again, I think that, you know, the sport is growing. I think that, you know, uh, the popularity and the divisions have increased. Obviously, we've got Classic Physique. We saw um, uh, Danny Hester be crowned the Classic Physique uh, Olympia champion earlier today. Juliana Malacarney repeated as the Women's Physique champion earlier today as well. And Jeremy Buendia uh, repeated. repeated as the champ tonight. Also tonight on the center stage, Latoria Watts wins her second Miss Olympia. You know, we're, we're the biggest fans of her. I think thought her, between her and Candace Lewis in that second position, I think they are the two most gifted in the history of figure. Yeah, you know, and uh, I, I, when the show's on CBS Sports, people are going to, I think people who don't even pay attention. Lose to, their mind. Yeah, they're going to lose their mind. They're going to say, look at these, you know, look at these, yeah, freaks. I say that, in a, you know, these pretty girls yeah. who are just look like exes. You know, it makes, make, I don't know, we're all biased. Makes like Miss Universe, Trump's Miss Universe look like nothing, my, right? You know, my only thing, and we'll talk about this on the radio when we go back to the room. Yes, we're still going to be working, guys, <laughs> when we go back to the room after this. Uh, maybe we'll get a slice of pizza first. My my only um, constructive criticism would be that there's too many people in the show now. There's too many yeah. qualifications. I can't see 40 people on the men's physique stage. The men's physique um, is way it, too it, many. Well, it's, it's everyone. The bikini division, I think what, way I, too many. what I think they should do is they should create a, a tiered, um, point system like they have, except if you win a show, you should get points too. And the top 10 point getters in every division go to the Olympia. That Make will never happen until it happens. <laughs> the in way, other words, the way two years ago, yeah. it's not my yeah. idea. But no, I think I think it needs to be done. I, I'm I'm wiped out from this weekend from critiquing too many physiques. I should be yeah. critiquing the top 10 in every division, and and that's it because they're the best in the business. And right. this is the Super Bowl. You don't want to go to the Super Bowl and watch 25 teams play, right? You want to watch the two best yeah, teams play. I, I agree with you 100. percent You know, it just it's exhausting. I can't believe the judges, uh, you know, can make it through. You, literally, yeah. you know, 50 people in a class. Yeah. I mean, they start to blend after. Yeah. No, after you, after the top 10 best in the world, you know, no disrespect to the person who's getting 11th and 12th. But I mean, if you go to the 10 best restaurants in Vegas, do you really need to go to the 11th? Yeah, you're right. And I want to say one thing: the the production quality of the show was superb. Robin Chang did a phenomenal job. The stage looks like a Hollywood movie set. Uh, Amazon.com streamed the, the uh, event. Um, maybe one day we'll get to do uh, live play-by-play -play with that. But. I, I, I don't think <laughs> who, who could beat us. But we, we will include The Rock on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll get The Rock we'll in speak it. to The Rock and maybe we can, yeah. <laughs> Me, you, Triple H, and The Rock. There you go. Um, but once again, I, I had a great time. I want to thank uh, Robin for giving us the press passes this year. Uh, we, we didn't have Two them for a couple of them, I didn't years. have one, but yeah, yeah, I'm well, putting yeah. in mind for next year. <laughs> thank God you got road and got uh, your ticket. Yeah. But yeah, maybe we'll get a fourth one uh, this next year. But I, he did do a phenomenal job. I thought the event went off without a hitch. It was smooth. It didn't drag at any points in time. And once again, this is my enjoyment of the year, you know. Yeah. To come out here and see the best in the business, hang out with Chris Aceto, Johnny Styles, and in Vegas, uh, nonetheless. And uh, thank you to all you guys, fans. Let me put a camera on these guys. These, these guys supported us. These guys, these guys subscribe to our YouTube channel. They put us over 60,000 subscribers. And like Blackman said, why come back?